most of us believe in ideas like fair play and equal time. We know it would be unjust to convict someone of a crime without first giving them a chance to explain their side of the story. But where global warming is concerned, many of us have forgotten fair play. We watched the Al Gore film An Inconvenient Truth and allowed ourselves to be persuaded that this politician on a crusade was telling us nothing but the unvarnished truth. Mr. Gore told us that human-produced carbon dioxide is harmful. He told us carbon dioxide causes dangerous global warming. His arguments seemed convincing, and so did his graphics. But the discussion was cut short. Because we couldn't return to the movie theater the next day to hear the other side of the story, many of us don't realize that the entire theory of global warming may be nothing more than a tempest in a teacup. Because we've listened only to the Al Gore side of this debate, we don't know that farmers add CO2 to their greenhouses, because an increase in carbon dioxide means larger, stronger crops. Nor have we paid attention to the dissenting scientists who say there's no evidence that the tiny amount of CO2 in our atmosphere is harmful to humans, animals, or the environment. In other words, we haven't bothered with a fair trial. We listened only to Prosecutor Al Gore, and then made up our minds. We didn't give the defense lawyer a chance to speak. We offered her no opportunity to cross-examine Al Gore's arguments, or to point out their weaknesses. This is not, this is not fair play. Fair play.